All right, I'm back. Let's start from the beginning. In this live stream, I will be demonstrating how to create a time-lapse video from photos in VideoPad. All right, you can do this in most modern cameras, but let's say you forgot to press the make video button in your camera, then you'll get a bunch of photos, like hundreds or two hundreds, hundreds of photos which you have to convert to time-lapse yourself. Okay, what do I mean by that? Let me show you. Okay. First, for those who don't know what a time-lapse is, let me switch off my title and show you what a time-lapse is. Play. Okay, this is a time-lapse of the recent super blue blood moon. All right, it's not blue, but it's bloody red moon okay that recently that occurred last week okay i shot this with my panasonic fz2500 and what it does is it takes several photos okay, how many photos let me show you okay in terms of hundreds or 200 and over plenty of photos right and then you combine them, you get motion picture like this. Okay, once again, this is a time-lapse time -lapse video, a motion picture of a very slow moving item. Okay, it's moving up the sky, it's rising up, and my camera had to, had to catch up with it. Okay, so, so in this live stream, I will show you again how to make a time-lapse video from photos in VideoPad. Okay, VideoPad is a free video editing software that you can download online. Okay, it looks like that. Let's go to our instruction sheet. Okay, laser pointer, right. First of all, we have to transfer all the photos that we want to convert into time-lapse into a single folder and then follow the steps in VideoPad. Follow these steps in VideoPad, right? So what do we mean by transfer all photos to be converted? Okay, let me show you my folder. You, whenever you have a camera, most likely you'll be taking other pictures as well, which you don't want to convert into time-lapse. So to make it easier for VideoPad, okay, transfer all the footage, all the photos that you want to convert to time-lapse into a single photo, which I've done here. I call it time-lapse. You can call it any other name, right? So click on it. Okay, inside time-lapse folder is all the pictures, individual pictures of moons in different position. Right, these are all individual pictures. Okay, we're going to combine them to form a video, right? You can see, wait, let me go to, go to a bigger moon. Okay, you can see each picture, the moon is in a different position, right? So again, these are JPEGs, still photos. Now, let's go back into instructions. Right, so you have transferred all your photos that you want to convert into time-lapse into a single folder. Now, next, step one. Go to File, Add Images as Video. So let's go into Video Pad right now. Go to the top main menu, click on File, go down and look for Add Images as Video. Click on it. Then we get a dialog box. Okay, our next step will be number two. Browse and select the time lapse folder. Browse and click on Browse and select the time lapse folder. Okay, I've, I'm already in the time lapse folder, so for demonstration sake, let me go into the main directory and then from here I drill down into my folder. Okay, where's my super moon? Okay, my super moon is here and then the folder is in Panasonic. There you go. 
my time lapse folder selected. This is all my still pictures of moons in different position. Okay. Next step. Okay, we are still in step two, right? Now wait, step three. Step three, remove. Oh, not yet, not yet. Still in step two. Okay, once that is done, once that is done, once you have selected that folder that you want to com convert to time lapse, select choose. Click on choose button. Okay, and then you will see under the file name, you'll see a, a whole series of photos, images, right? And then you can actually play back from here, but don't bother because it's not in real time. The processing time is very, very, very slow. Very, very slow. So I will not play back from here. So the next step, number three, remove unwanted files. Well, although I have already selected all the photos that I want, but if you notice there's two files here which is which are not photos. Okay, I'm gonna remove them, right? Click on this one and this one, select them and click the remove button. Okay, they should be gone, right? So the rest should be photos. Just make a quick check. And the numberings are in sequence. Yep, they're all photos. Next step. Step four. Type in the frame rate. Try 10 frames per second first. Okay, so here goes. There is a selection for frame rate, or rather you type in frame rate. By default, actually, when you first do it, it's 25. But for time lapse, you may not want 25. You may want something starting from 10. And again, it's not a half, hard and fast rule, 10, right? But the most frequent figure is 10 here. You can go 15, you can go 20. Okay, it depends on, on the speed that you want. But for now, I select 10. If I don't like, I can come back here and change it later on, right? Start all over again. Okay, 10. Step number five, click import. Over here, click the import button. Right, then you will start importing. And if you can see, there's a green bar here. It is slowly rendering. Okay, let it render, we can still do the next step. Number six, drag the timeline, drag the time lapse drag the time let me read that again number six number six drag the time lapse clip from the video bin tab to the timeline okay what this means is you can see the video tab here video tab drag the time lapse clip from the video tab into the timeline and drop it Okay, notice there's no audio because these are photos. Photos have no audio. Okay, now you can you can try playing back from here and then you see the result, right? Yep. Quite nice. Okay, and then it starts building. Okay, right, so if you're happy with it, then final step, Final step, oh, I left the final step out. Let me click this in. Step number seven, export video, right? That's the last step. Present in, yep. This presentation is done in a hurry, right? I created one whole slide in just a few minutes. Okay, last step, step number seven, export video. Let's go back into our video pad. Okay, click on 
export video over here or you can go into file export video and give it a file name I call it our uh, Luna Luna whoops Muna Luna Eclipse time lapse right and then browse the folder that I want to store in right uh, as good practice store in the same project folder together with the rest of the footage right so this is the same footage same folder that I took the raw footage from so I'm gonna save it into here and click save okay it's not saving the video yet you're just naming the folder to save in right and then preset I like to select YouTube 1080p okay by default it's mpeg4 okay and um, again by default is 1080p is night the resolution is 1920 times 1080 okay I leave this alone NTSC frame rate and that's it the next step is press create okay and then you will start creating the video all right well in order to save time I've already created the video and this is what you get right so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and share this is Adrian from videolane.com signing out